aggressive all the time. Like, Vitz is weird, because I... Vitz looks like an aggressive joker, but it's yeah. still like a very defensive player overall. But, well, you know, the best defense is a good away, offense. And speaking of the best defense being a good offense, <laughs> for no Kazi, characters yeah. that hold more true than Kazi and Mijima, still going for that tactical crouch early, but it's not going to work out. Out. She is, however, going to find that first advantage. Save the pressure, trying to get the big bomb towards the top. That could have been a jump read into death, but not going to look for it. And instead, it's causing a time. The Furps Tech Swiss, the pressure going to go on. And just like that, it's even. You want to know the mistake Dill made? She let Kazuya get back on stage. Yeah, she let Kazuya live. <laughs> right? He, this man should be dead at the bottom of a volcano. <laughs> Well, I think that's where he puts. He tosses everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what happens? Just yeah, like off, off chucks, screen. No, that's what happens when he chucks <laughs> people off the trip, cliff. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, my god! Already? And speaking of, I think the cliff might fall upwards here because he yeeted Dill into the blast zone. Fawn finding the pressure with the Kazia uh, Udal. And the thing is with her Oz, Oz is. It's so weird. It uses the entire character's kit. It doesn't just hit the zero to death you're used to seeing. Yeah, it's almost like this character is designed to be versatile. And speaking of versatility, <laughs> how would you like a frame six command grab with some super armor? I would. I would like that very much. Give that to Lucina, please. <laughs> oh my god, no! Yes! Oh, that's my worst nightmare. <laughs> All right, Bond is just locked in with Kazuya. Good lord. Now, I know that they're... Well, they were joking like recently, being like, yeah, the the Kazuya Brain Rod comes for us all. But they just look at them having so much fun with this character. A way, just a character that is so expressive. Uh, for sure. Or this character can really be, as you mentioned, be that expressive, be, fit your playstyle. You have so many different options. But we see a lot of Kazuya's kind of tunnel visioning on those same co on confirm lines because they can be just so strong. Yeah. Um, that being said, Dill getting a little custom with it, keeping Fawn's feet off the ground, abusing that 7-frame jump squat to no end. And, but, all it takes is the one electric. Gonna miss the neutral error, though. Reset. This is Dill's opportunity. Yeah, Dill, Dill, speaking of zero to death, Dill has to start going for those. Fawn still has two stocks online. Dill on their last one at 103. Now, Rob, no slouch, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how heavy you are when these electric fists are coming out. Uh, However, you know, the only thing they can contest in Electric Fist might just be a, a robot doing a somersault, man. The neutral air is absolutely oppressive in its own right. Down till as well. Dill looking to line it up, close out the stock. Gonna find a down throw Love up till up air. <gasps> wow, what a delayed. Air, that was know, awesome. That was crazy. Okay. Still making it back? Barely. Nope. You had the air dodge, but the thing with Rob is that spike lasts forever, yeah. my friend. Practically a guaranteed two frame. Is that? That's not death. That's so no. close. And looking for that upper as well, I like that contest from Fawn because the though your jump squat super long, that upper itself full leg invulnerability frame four, one of the best air to air options in the entire game. Aim, but it doesn't matter if you can't close out the stock. And Fawn is trying to get in on some of the most defensive raw play we've seen, but the up special again, just catching out, eating that gyro for breakfast, and then continuing on to have a nice dessert dish of Rob. They forced their way through that gyro, and my life flashed before my eyes. I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> like, what do you do? Sometimes I, you look at Kazuya and you're just like, what do you do? I mean, listen, that gyro is so strong. Mm -hmm. And it's like, to me, it kind of shook my faith in that gyro. I was like, okay, the gyro is not all powerful. You can just it's, first do that. I've got some news for you about Lucina's sword, friend. <laughs> yeah. You can also just swing through it. I mean, yes. Oh, no, the duck hunts. Okay, well. <laughs> Are they like, you know what, the Kazuya came out, we had fun, but I really want to win. Yeah, I, th I, I think, well, remember that Fawn also won game one, so I don't think this was a, I can't beat you with Kazuya, right? She also did it last week, just on Monday. Ah. But it's more just, I think, wants to warm up the Duck Hunt in case she needs it later, and maybe just decided, hey, I think Dill might, be ha might have more fun playing against my Duck Hunt than against the Kazuya, too. <laughs> That's fair. Dill is again just kind of shaking her head at the end of the last game, being like, what do you do? Oh, all right, got the double play, play pigeons. Again, the good setup here. 
Um, and I love that little hit. You know you're not going to find that can to hit its mark, so just reposition it, get that optimal defensive coverage off of it. And now the pressure of the up smash cancel. Are you kidding me right now? Fawn is getting so creative. This is some, These are some combo routes that we may have never seen before with this character. I mean, I like it. What have they been doing? Hitting up training mode? Yuzu? Yuzu? Oh, it's Who definitely knows? been that training mode. <laughs> also, what? Huh? What's, what's Yuzu? Oh, I don't no, know. It's, it's we'll a, find out later. It's, it's a chocolate milk. Ah, that Please? makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense, my friend. And speaking of making sense, utilizing the can coverage off stage, occupying active space for so long, even a character with as flexible recovery as Rob had their resources stretched, still still able to clean it up, come on back, and close out the stock. But at what cost? You're at 200%, and you have to find extra credit, and getting none. Honestly, I think that interaction might have been Fawn favored. It was, it was. They just needed one little poke there. But this is going to be very difficult to get in as long as Dill just keeps camping the air. All right, Mr. Clay Pigeon, what do we see here? Yep, and I like the attempt to use the gunman to block the gyro. Unfortunately, just falling a little too far back. So keeping that active instead, allowing F Dill to take the space eventually when neutral, find this advantage state, and now get the ledge trap going, detonating the can through brute force. This could be a terrible day for the dog, but somehow that air dodge is going to find ledge. Yeah, that dog is not going to heaven just yet. And, oh, we're seeing the down tilts all the way to the end. Beautiful wow. can coverage there as well, just to find the trade, get out of dodge. You're okay taking 10% rather than Rob. However, the rotor arm gonna get extended even further by the gunman, and that's gonna be all she wrote for Fawn's second stock. This duck hunt switch is not hoping up. Uh, working out the way Fawn had Yeah, no, Fawn and Dill have played each other for probably hundreds of sets at this point, but, you know, the as death. Fawn... Fawn is a phenomenal player, but Dill knows how to play against her Duck Hunts. Against the Kazuya, that's a little different, but you know what? Maybe I have spoken too soon. The, saying, dog has some, the dog has new tricks. What a recovery there, Swiss, to find that stock from Fawn. She had the confirm off the double clay pigeon into the uppers, but just wasn't able to find the second one. On as a result, though, was able to trap the landing, close it out, and now is still having a set left to play. Having to go high, though, no and the way. motor arm gonna go out full, send it, why not? You have the one option out of your special that can be an aerial, that can be an air dodge, but after that, regardless, you still go into special fall. Yeah. So your route is so linear at that point that, yeah, I have a big hitbox that if I hit you with one hit, you're not gonna SDI out of, and it kills you. Yeah, use it. Hmm. That sounds like a pretty great way to catch someone in the air. Yeah, right, right there, exactly. <laughs> I think uh, I think we're gonna go Kazuya. Kazuya Mishima. Or are we gonna see the Wario in complete spawns squad strike trifecta? Oh, you're right. They did gentleman to squad strike earlier. I love that. Can we just have different games for gentlemen? Because uh, Fawn did gentlemen to Street Fighter I think Six we need time. to have run. I hate the that. I think we <laughs> need to run the equivalent of Coney's mystery bracket. I love where we it. We have a Zeno. We don't tell them what games they're playing, and yes. each match is a different game. The Casso games. Yeah. Make it happen. But speaking of, you were right, Swiss. We are going back to Kazuya, but we're also going to small battlefield. What do you think of the stage switch? I think it's a good stage for this. Um, you know, you have a it's a much smaller stage than like a PS2. You don't have the top platform, but uh, you do have it's very neutral. I don't think this favor is really one more than the other. And it's really gonna matter here what they do with the gyro. Dill is playing a whole different game here. I will oh, say, no. I actually think this does favor Fawn slightly, and the really? reason is because it's smaller, right? Ah. Rob gets a big advantage out of large stages like PS2 being able to run away and reset, whereas Kazuya in these scraps should theoretically come out on top, but so far Dill is having none of that theory, telling you to put your money where your mouth is, or it's not gonna matter, and while Fawn's gonna do so, it's still not gonna be quite enough to close out the stock. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be easy for Fawn. Dill is Ooh. hot, hot, hot off that last game. Good parry, though. Oh, I see the thinking there, trying to reflect the gyro. Uh, the reflector there catching in the gyro and not catching in Dill by extension. What a strange little interaction as Fawn tries to call out the getup, but just a little slow, still trying to find a way in. And one or two more hits could put this game out of dodge because Rob does so much on any advantage save. We're seeing it once again, Swiss Rider, but the pressure, Fawn needs to close it out and she hasn't been able to find a way to do so. Yeah, because Dill is doing the right thing, staying away from Kazuya. 
Oh no, that was a bad. Oh, and no tech. Fawn rolling their eyes, unhappy with that performance. And after a strong start, maybe kicking herself for that duck hunt switch now, because with the, her life on the line, she needs to find this here. The double nair, not gonna do it against Rob anyways because of that booster, but it's especially not gonna do it when you miss the sweet spot spike. Like Fawn now has to find a way and has to win this neutral interaction. She knows it, but instead it's gonna be Dill's time to shine. The pressure is mounting for our duck hunt hero. No way, not oh, again. And I don't think we're gonna live to see Hey, day. don't say, never say never. This is Kazuya Mishima. They can always come back. Oh my gosh, what good DI. Oh. Um, I like the attempt to catch the laser. She knew it was coming, but Fawn just missed timing it. Not something you see every day. The electric just gonna trade out with top. However, no jump. that gyro has done so much work in this matchup. Kazuya hasn't been able to find a way in. I think this is it. There's no way. There's no the way. Laser? No, you can air dodge. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was just so close. The Mist Dragon uppercut could have spelled disaster. Instead, it's gonna be that Heaven's How are they not Gate. Dead? Not gonna close it out still. Rob has the potential to go around the world. Fawn looking for the edge guard, but still can't get in. 190. You have a stack off left to hit. However, it's Kazuya. Okay, you find this one. All we need is one neutral air, one electric, and this could still be Fawn's game. No, not the neutral air at ledge. Oh. It poked. It poked. <laughs> Both having a good time. The eight legend vulnerability. I know. Can we, can we see that? I want to see. So a, I want to see a freeze frame on that. There's no way. I mean, at 190, yeah, look, you've been yeah. you were on ledge for so long oh, that that's, right. Remember that's that Fawn never reset to the ground. She just ah. kept getting hit off stage, on stage, off stage, on stage, and the problem with that is that. You don't have that much legend vulnerability. That time on that stock, Fawn knew, right? That's why she tried to land high and caught the gyro on her way down. However, when you do catch an aerial or an item, you still yeah. have lag for oh, catching that. And Dill was able to find the motor arm, close out the stock. Yeah, mistakes happen. It's unfortunate. Yeah, what I do think was unfortunate was Fawn had the right idea for trying to reflect the gyro, the lasers. Team Hydrate. They Team Hydrates. They kept missing that every time. And Dill was just doing mm -hmm. so well to just delay all of those options. So it was almost like a reflex. You saw the mm -hmm. kick come out, gyro. You saw the kick come out, laser. It is safe. That, that, that reflector does not last a long time.